Sorry everybody, it's Zilx here, and welcome back to more Guild Wars 2. Um, in the last kind of two episodes, uh, we got to level 5. Uh, I say two episodes because, uh, level 4, um, well, level 2 to level 3, and level 4 to level 5 were uploaded in the same day. Reason for that was I was unable to record Friday. Uh, Saturday I was only able to record MMO. And Sunday, I only had time for one episode. So we are back here with Guild Wars. I have my normal mic. Um, seeing if any guildies are on. Nope, just me. Um, but yeah, so in this episode, I plan on doing our next story quest known as The Perils of Friendship. I've kind of been putting it off for a little bit because I wanted to be a bit over leveled in the story. Uh, it's always good to be slightly over leveled in your story quest. Um, if you are playing along, maybe it's a different character. Um, but if you are playing as a different character, you will get a different story quest than me, um, obviously. Unless you choose the same exact decision as, uh, decisions as I do, then you will get the same exact story. But I can most likely say, uh, not sure if this is a fact or not, but there's probably over a million different options for the story. Because at the very beginning it asks you those questions, those matter towards your story. Um, you're given different options to go through in your story. Obviously, what race you choose affects your story. So, there can be endless possibilities for storyline. Which makes this game very unique. Because I know a lot of games, there's really only just one storyline. Which, I mean, that's completely fine. I do like having... The ability to choose your own story, though. This is clearly an RPG MMO. Um, and yeah, I really like that. So uh, I'm just following these little green arrows on the map. Um, for some storyline quests, you look for the stars or you follow green arrows. Usually, uh, it'll give you green arrows if you're in a town type uh, area that I'm in currently because it wants to give you a bit of guidance through the town. So, you know if you have to go up, if you have to go down, um, which I kind of like. I like how it, it doesn't really handhold you, but it does give you a bit of guidance throughout the, uh, way. What is that? Oh, look. Oh, wow. I never knew that those signs actually tell you where everything is, but it looks like we're going to hit a waypoint here, which will be very nice. This is the, uh, Rorikton waypoint, um... But yeah, I was talking about uh, if you guys are kind of playing along with different characters. Um, if you are playing as, let's say, the Char race or the Asura race, you can still access the areas that I go to. Uh, anyone can access any area, as long as you're the proper level for it. But anyone will, will be able to access Divinity's Reach, uh, where I am now. The best way to go there is, uh, usually in every town, there is a, uh, a gate that leads to Lion's Arch, which is here. Lion's Arch is like the main community hub. Uh, there's very quick ways to get around. Um, so here we see a surrogates. Um, I believe the one, I believe either this one or that one, I'm not sure. Uh, but one of them will lead you to Lion's Arch uh, for free. So you can just walk right through there and it'll take you to Lion's Arch. So, by the looks of it, this is where we have to go to for my story quest. And yes, I would like to enter the instance. Now, once you enter an instance, it kind of activates the single player type aspect. However, you can do instances with other players. If you're in a party with them, and they join the instance with you, you can do an instance with multiple people if you would like. Um, however, I don't think... They won't get the story experience, but they will get experience if they kill mobs. So, and hey, maybe you're having trouble with a uh, story quest and you just need a little help. Get your friend together. You can do your storyline together. Um, yeah, you just set up a party doing that. Press P, type in their uh, character name, and yeah. Now, as I said, these are kind of single player. Uh, once you are in an instance, you will not see any players walking around. Unless, that is, of course, you uh, joined it together. Now, I'm trying to find a way in here. Uh, let's see. I think we may have to go back here. Yeah, this is looking like it. 
So yeah, as I said, uh, well, for my character, I kind of chose the uh, the slum type area, so that's where we are. And let's talk to this NPC. By the way, these cinematic cutscenes are amazing. Hey, there you are. It's great to see you back on your feet. Come on, let's go for a drink. I'm buying. You're buying? This must be a special occasion. Oh, and thanks for coming to see me when I was injured. Hey, that's what friends are for. Besides, did you see the priestess of Duena? Cute. Quinn, there you are. I'm gonna gut you right here and now. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you so mad? I didn't do anything. That's the point. You were supposed to back up Riot Alice. But you didn't do anything. And the Widowmakers took her. Hello, Pete. It's been a while. What's the problem here? So, you're back. Just in time to protect your idiot friend again. Problem is, Quinn got one of ours caught by a rival gang. I want Alice back. Or I want Quinn's heart on a stick. We'll get Alice back. You said the Widowmakers have her, right? We'll take care of them. And after that, Quinn's account is settled. He owes you nothing. Fine. You bring Alice to me and we're square. If you don't, you both bleed to death in the gutter. You know where to find me. Lead on. All right, so we have to go to the Widowmaker hideout. The Widowmaker's hideout is just around the corner. Uh, one thing I wanted to say was I do like how these little cutscenes they I'm sorry you got dragged into this. They give character I I don't want to interrupt him, but they give uh, they give characters a bit of personality, which I like when a character has a personality and you can kind of follow their personalities and how they develop from one point of the game. Another thing I wanted to mention is um, I dyed my armor to red and black. I did say I would want to do that. You do that easily by just hitting toggle dye mode. You can change the uh, color of your stuff. However, um, if I were to put my old chest plate, for example, not really chest plate, but uh, chest armor. I got a new chest armor, so if I were to put the old one on, it would still be that purple and um, black is the other one. What's the password? Just let me in. Password: Stein requires a beer. Not even close. I saw a few of these clowns hanging out under the bridge. Let's get the password from them. All right, so we got to intimidate Widowmaker thugs. I would be stuck there. <laughs> Let's go around here. Okay, so under the bridge. Here they are. Oh, we just gotta get him. Get him. Let's use our different abilities. This is all easy stuff. Let's summon our fiends of death. That's always fun to do. All right, we want the password to your hideout, and we want it now. If I tell you, he'll let me go. Yeah, we'll let you go, as long as you don't warn them. I won't. They didn't protect me. I don't owe them anything. The password is Salma's bloomers. Forget it. They're too tough for us. Hey, where are you going? You're not going to warn them, are you? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Alright, I think we're good. Salma's Bloomers is the password. We got trouble. These goons are here. Rar, where are they? Oh. <laughs> I like how I'm just like berserking in the place and they're all outside. Brilliant. This is a terrible angle for you guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, lots of Widowmaker thugs. Let's attack with our pet. Let's get another pet up in here. The more damage, the merrier. Let's strike with all of our different attacks. We may want to enter Death Shroud just for fun. Um, <laughs> just because we can. Let's do it. Alright. Come on. Come here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. 
attack the right person. There we go. Alright. Now, if you do leave your death shroud mode, uh, you do save the remaining bit that you had uh, left. So that is very nice. Um. Hey. Oh, I just had to talk to her. Well, that was easy. Thanks for the rescue. I was really starting to hate these guys. As for you, Quinn, this almost makes up for you getting me caught in the first place. Almost. Hey, I always clean up my own messes. You were never in any danger. Right, Quinn. Whatever you say. Come on, we need to get Alice back to Two Blade Pete. I'm right behind you. Anywhere is better than here. Alright, so we gotta go back to Two Blade Pete. Um, it's a weird name. Maybe he has like two swords and that's like his ghetto alley back way. That's right, you run. <laughs> that's like his alley back way guild person dude name yeah that's exactly what it is um okay so two blade pete is here with doc Howard and crusher dan quick. also very interesting thug names lucky for you quinn you made it good thing alice isn't hurt no thanks to you pete were you gonna leave me with those goons i thought you needed me for the apothecary job shut up about that now as to you, Quinn, you're off the hook for Alice. But as part of the gang, I've still got work for you. That wasn't the deal, Pete. We dealt with the Widowmakers, Alice is back, and Quinn's out. Hey, don't stir things up. Pete can make things really difficult around here for me. As long as I'm on the streets, I need to cooperate with him. Don't be an idiot. Pete's not your friend. He thinks everyone's expendable, especially you. You're just gonna get into trouble again. Sure, sure, I know that. Come on, trust me. I just have to stay one step ahead of him. All right. It's your life. Be careful, Quinn. I'm not always going to be around to lend a hand. Now, I just thought about this. Isn't my guy really buff for living Captain on the streets? Captain needs to speak to you right away. I've never seen one of those cutscenes before, but uh, that's really cool. Uh, but anyways, I was gonna say. Sarah, officer, my son is missing. Isn't down, our man. guy it's just buff for someone that's been like morning. living he on the streets, return. starving? What was oh, and another thing, if you watch these NPCs, you can watch them go for about an hour of just doing stuff like that, where she's like trying to find her son. If you just follow them around. You can literally just entertain yourself for hours upon hours off these NPCs. But yeah, let's talk to uh, Logan Thackeray. Thanks for coming. Not too busy to have a word with me, are you? I need some information about a thug named Two Blade Pete. Pete, huh? Yeah, I know him. He's always been trouble. These days, the less I have to do with him, the better I like it. Glad to hear that. His gang's mischief's getting downright deadly. Know anything about what they might be planning next? I just helped my friend Quinn settle a score with him. I heard a member of his gang mention an apothecary. That mean anything to you? Apothecary? Hmm. Pete's goons have been sniffing around in Shaymore. There's an apothecary there. That might be their next target. My friend Quinn is mixed up in this. Can you give me a chance to talk him out of it? It's asking a lot, but for the hero of Shaymore, I'll try. Get Quinn out fast. My soldiers will move in as soon as they see trouble. Good luck, hero. Now, Be careful. I'm going to do a bit of explaining of background here. Friendship. In Guild Wars 2, um... Oh, wait, let's pick our reward first. Or, I guess as I'm doing this, I'll uh, explain. So, basically, in Guild Wars 2... Well, in, in the first Guild Wars, I'm pretty sure, there are these Elder Dragon type things. Similar to Skyrim, how there's like an Elder Dragon, I guess. But, um, basically, um, 
this team of five, which was Logan Thackeray. This isn't spoiling anything for those of you that are wondering. But Logan Thackeray, the human uh, main, I guess, person that is in everyone's story regardless. There's Zoja for the Asora. Um, Kaith for the Silvari. Ear something or other. I can't remember her last name. For the uh, Norn. And then uh, the one guy from, ah, what's his name? But there's the Char guy also, which I can't remember his name for some reason. But anyways, um, so it was the group of five that's in each storyline. And they, I believe they like, failed when they tried and this is all background story none of this is like spoiling anything uh you will find this out later in the story but uh it's nothing too important um but they attempted to take out the elder dragon and then eventually it's going to be your job like i mean that's pretty obvious but i'm not gonna give too much information on how it's done because it, it's very cool you guys will love that part. The, like, the finale is probably going to be, like, an hour or two episode. Because, I mean, I'll probably get to 80 before I get to the end of the story. Well, maybe. I don't know. But if I do, I'm still going to show the rest of the story. Like, I'm going to go through the rest of the story, even if I hit 80 beforehand. Because, I mean, the point of this is kind of to go through my story and hit level 80. Like, kind of hit two birds with one stone. Be careful with that stuff. It's dangerous. But, uh, right, so... Seriously, guys, we can still work this out. We gotta... Looking good. Talk to Quinn at the apothecary. We'll find Quinn, as it said. Please don't kill me. I've given you everything you asked for. What are you doing? We don't need to hurt her. We do what Pete says. And Pete says she dies. Yeah? Well, we'll... I say no way. Say whatever you want, but I'm not leaving her alive. All right, bandits, we can play this game. But uh, you know, I'm not leaving you alive. So, uh, haha, <laughs> sucks to suck. Um, that's all I have to say about you guys. Uh, let's spawn in my my death fiends to kill them all. We got a shattered lock pit apparently from that goon. Alright, so that bandit scout over here has a bit of loot. I think she had some copper. A bandit highwayman. That's such a weird name. Alright, so looks like we're gonna do a bit of tower defense-esque thing. Um, get him. I don't really have much to talk about here. Um, I might do a bit of World v. World uh, in this Let's Play. Uh, I might get like a level, level or two off World v. World. Um, I don't play too much World v. World in my spare time. I do like World v. World, though. I think it is amazing. Uh, for those of you that don't know what World v. World is, it takes three servers. Uh, my server is Ferguson's Crossing. It's an American server. If you guys uh, ever want to play with me, maybe you can join uh, the guild I'm in. But uh, it brings two other servers and your server to a battlefield where you have to fight and try and claim castles and stuff. Now, there are, like, these giant zergs of people rushing at castles, or you can have a group of, like, up to two to five people just capturing supply camps, and, you, like, everywhere you go, you can find someone to fight, or you can find a mob to fight, and everyone's up level to level 80, so everyone becomes level 80, uh, obviously you don't retain the level 80 once you leave World v. World, but, um, everyone gets level 80 while they're there, and, uh, the only thing is, though, I would recommend being level 80 if you're going to do a lot of World v. World and hope to succeed, because most people there are level 80, and uh, they have level 80 gear, which is uh, obviously going to crush your level, like me, 5 gear. I had things under control, but I'm glad you showed up. 
As am I. We owe you our lives. Thank you. But they took my entire supply of rhizome powder. It's a strong poison. Poison? Quinn, what's going on? The Seraph will be here any second. If we tell them what Pete's planning, they can stop it. You're working with the Seraph? When did you become a rat? Don't you know you can't trust the law? I trust Thackeray more than Two-Blade. Come on, you wouldn't help stab one person. Why would you help poison dozens? Be smart for once. Lay low until Thackeray makes his move, and Pete's either dead or in prison. But I... but I... I... Ah, uh, you're right. I'm always right. Listen, thanks for saving me. I'll do what you say and hold up until all this blows over, and... Hey, thanks again. Alright, so, so now we must go speak to Mr. L or shall I say Captain Keep saving Logan people, and you'll be the one they're swooning over in the streets. And believe me, it's not as nice as it sounds. Hello. You heard the commotion. But it looks like you took care of it. Please allow me to introduce Countess Anise, advisor to the Royal Court and Master Exemplar of the Shining Blade. What happened here? The apothecary's safe, but Pete's gang got away with a lot of poisonous rhizome powder. I feel responsible. I couldn't stop them in time. Let me help you deal with it. Certainly. If you can find out when and where they plan to use the poison, we can shut Two-Blade Pete down for good. Pete's gang knows I was here. When none of his people return from this job, Two-Blade will be out for my blood. Don't worry. My magic can disguise you as a common bandit. You can walk among them, and they'll never know it's you. We'll give you the location of their hideout. It's dangerous, but if you're willing, I know you can handle it. Consider it done. I want to put Two-Blade Pete out of business even more than you do. Very well, then. I'll cast it on you now. But the disguise won't activate until you're close to the bandit headquarters. When you're ready, head to this location on your map. My scouts tell me Pete's men are hiding there. You'll be on your own, so be careful. Happy hunting. Happy hunting indeed. And I'll place the enchantment on you. Done. Right. When you reach the bandit cavern, you will be transformed. Undercover work is tricky. To pull this off, you'll have to eat, breathe, think, and stink like a bandit. I like the uh, and stink like a bandit part. Okay, so, um... We can either have a copper harvesting sickle, a copper mining pick, or a uh, logging axe. I would uh, tell All you done. to get the uh, pickaxe first because you'll find a lot of ores in these lower leveled areas. And there we go. We have reached level 6, making this episode complete. Um, so I'm just going to equip our new uh, mining pickaxe. And then we will probably in the next episode maybe do a bit more questing and then head over to our next um what would it be our next uh uh story quest so thank you guys so much for watching as always my name is Zilix. i'll see you guys next time k tanks bye